When you speak the truth, that does not always make you the most popular person. And well, in this case, it leads to your church being damaged. We're going to get into all the details, guys. Off the top of the mention, if you'd like to make a generous donation here to our ministry, the links to do so are down below. As we are demonetized here on YouTube, they don't support Christian conservative content creators like myself. We have PayPal or Patreon for you down below. We're even just five bucks a month on Patreon to get you bonus content. We also include the links to the YouTube videos to make sure you get all the alerts when new content arrives. Also there, you can comment on the video censorship free to avoid YouTube blocking and hiding what you guys are saying. It's happening more and more now. Also, make sure you go sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube and we're already posting there. So go check us out. All those links down below. Then please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Pastor Greg Locke, Global Vision Bible Church, Mount Juliet, Tennessee, had his church damage here just this past Sunday, August 15th. An unknown assailant was actually caught on the security cameras, uh, did a significant amount of damage here to the church before finally being chased off by security uh, sometime shortly after that. As we know right now, no arrests have been made at all. Uh, but what this person did, uh, they went in there and on, um, into the pulpit. They wrote in red paint, by the way, F-U on there. They also had wrote on the building, your lies and lives. Because Pastor Greg Locke is very outspoken when it comes to everything with the Rona. He does not hide his feelings on this whatsoever. He's never going to change either. And all the forces of hell can come against him. And this guy is going to remain steadfast in his approach and to what he believes. And, and so this obviously has many people upset right now. So that's why you see these things being spray painted in his church. And Pastor Greg Locke, you know, he put this message out there early Sunday morning to everybody there at the church and let them know about what took place. But he said, this isn't going to stop me. This isn't going to, this is going to slow me down at all. He says, if anything, it's going to cause me just to be more bold and more outspoken to everything that's currently going on right now. He also praised many of the church members who actually came down to the church after 3 a.m. after the damage was done to help with the cleanup process. And um, hopefully this person is caught for what they did. This is also not the first time that his church has been vandalized too. Another incident took place last year. Similar reasons again, Pastor Greg Locke speaking his mind. So when you when you see something like this happen, you look at it and like, okay, Wear it as a badge of honor because you're going to have people come against you. You know, Jesus said that in the last days that you would be hated by all for my namesake, for being one of my followers. Just think of all the people that hated Jesus, that despised him during his time. And us as his followers, especially in the polarizing climate that we live in now, those of us who stand for truth and righteousness are going to become targets. And that's exactly what would happen here with Pastor Greg Locke? You know, we stand with him and we believe that God will continue to use him mightily here in the last days to get the message of truth across uh, until the Lord returns. That's our job. Occupy the time until uh, his return. So we pray that they're able to get all the cleanup done here, all the damage. Uh, we welcome any comments from anybody. You attend Global Vision Bible Church. You can let us know a little bit more about what's taking place there. But guys, this is why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic news headlines that are going on around the world because we are in the last days and Jesus is coming back soon. But the question is, do you know him as your Lord and Savior? Because if not, you need to make that decision today to come to Christ. Now, you can put this prayer in your own words, but I'm going to give you the steps and what you need to do in order to go ahead and form that prayer to accept Christ. You want to start by first acknowledging that you are a sinner. That's something we all are. But God gave his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do, though, is that you have to repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but you have to actively turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then at that point, you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. 
I will have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.